Hello everyone, this is Luna from Ongaku to you. Konnichiwa, minasan, luna desu, yurushiku onegaishimasu. So this is my first vlog, and us at Ongaku to you wanted to start a little something special so you could learn about us. And for that reason, I have three items, or stuffies, in front of me that mean something to me. So instead of seeing me, you're seeing things that kind of a part of my personality in a way. I got Halloween Hello Kitty over there because I absolutely, I love Halloween. I love Hello Kitty as well. And I got Kitty Dakuma because he is one of my favorite characters and my best friend got him for me when he was in Japan years and years and years ago. Brought him back just for me. So I absolutely love the Dakuma and Kitty Dakuma. And the last little guy who looks very worn out is Simba from when I was a child. And I absolutely love Disney and Lion King and anything cute and animated. And I put Simba in there because I still have him. He went everywhere with me as a kid. So these are some things that encompass me. But I know our profiles are on the site. However, we thought it would be nice so you could get to know us personally. Some things about me. Like I said, I absolutely love Halloween and horror. I am a huge movie fan. As you probably hear on the podcast, I always say follow me in Letterboxd, and that's because I do watch a lot of movies. That is one of my favorite pastimes, as well as music. I've always been a huge fan of every type of movie, but horror is more of my specialty, especially the really bad B-rated ones. Those are some of my favorites. And I also love Asian horror because they encompass something that U.S. horror does not with a lot of superstition and ghosts. And I absolutely love that. And I find it so fascinating. And the ironic thing is I love horror and I love really cute things and I just can't help it. So a few other things about me music wise is I like most genres. I'm not super picky. I will find something I like out of everything minus country music. I just can't. My favorite genre, I guess you could say, I love R&B. As you know, most of my artists gravitate more toward R&B. I also love pop music. I do have a secret love for heavy metal, especially U.S. heavy metal. Bullet for My Valentine is probably one of my favorites. Just saying. I used to go to Point Fest and Warp Tour and all that, and I got to meet Becca who actually was big in Japan for a while and she did some she did an album with Benny K. She was the sweetest person I ever met and I thought it was so awesome I got to meet her at Warp Tour. So I also enjoy some hip hop. I like more 90s hip hop and I love 90s music for the US. It's amazing. I also love 90s music in Japan few other things is I actually got into Japanese music in high school so that was probably 204 to 205 which were my freshman sophomore year in high school I dove pretty deep into it some of my first artists were Boa but her Japanese stuff not her Korean stuff I later got into that and Kodokumi with her secret album that was my first Kodokumi album I ever got into. I freaking loved. And also one of the first albums I ever owned. And also Utadi Hikaru. Mainly due to Kingdom Hearts. And I listened to Hamasaki Ayumi at the time. But I didn't really get into her until about 5 to 10 years later. Surprising, right? So, also got into M-Flow very early on, as they were a big part of my life in high school. I absolutely love their music. Also got into Tamaki Nami, Sowell, pretty much anything on a show called Pop Japan TV, which was on our international channel that we had. I watched that regu regularly. They showed a lot of, they showed all Japanese music videos on there, and they had the, they had different hosts. I got into Puffy Ami Yumi thanks to them as well, and the Puffy Ami Yumi show in Teen Titans. And another one is they showed a lot of Korean videos on there, and that's how I got into my K-pop on this international channel. Is I dove pretty hard into that as I didn't I didn't do too many activities in high school. I mainly stayed home and watched TV and movies. So I was not an extremely social person. I tried to be, but I just fell very hard and was a little awkward. But 
thanks to that, my love for Japanese music, culture, and all that came out. I love history, so I made I took it upon myself to learn a lot about Japanese history, along with world history in general. That was one of my favorite things to read about, and I still enjoy it to this day. I am a huge history nerd, and I have a bad habit of correcting people, especially when I know the answer. So, uh, one of my bad habits. But those are just a few random things about me. And I try to encompass a lot of that and wanted you guys to get to know who we are. And hopefully Gray and Ken will also get a little special blog up. Feel free to ask us any questions. If there's something you'd like to know about us, I'm pretty open and we'll discuss a lot of things. Like if you want to hear stories about when I was in Japan, I'd be happy to talk about it. About my favorite foods. Because I like almost any food and I'm not picky and I will try anything once as long as it's not too spicy. You can ask us about what some of the first songs we heard by an artist were. Or about how we got into a particular artist. Like what drove us toward it. A lot of mine were random. I would go on YouTube and watch a favorite artist video and look at the recommended. And some I would have a friend recommend me and I would go check it out. My best friend would recommend me a lot of artists. I got into Kuroki Mesa because of him and Becky. So there are so many people who've influenced my music and the love of it. So it's always interesting to hear people's stories. And I'd love to hear from you guys and what you think of this and what you would like to hear in these blogs is we'd like to do more of them. 